Memorial Day services took place in Hopkinton. The ceremonies started at the Evergreen Cemetery, followed by the Veteran Memorial locations on Mayhew Street. Here are some sights and sounds from throughout the day. Memorial Day should and ought to have a significant meaning for all Americans. Regardless of your politics or religious beliefs, one certainly has to be respectful and admiring of those who are willing to die for a cause they believe in. Maybe not a popular cause or even a belief held by the majority, but a personal conviction held by that individual. This is the time in the occasion we pause to become conscious of our past and acknowledge the men and women who gave their lives defending our country, a country committed to battle the evil in this world, a country founded under the principles of basic human rights, and a country where each grave of a fallen soldier may also represent the family and the children that never were. After the services at the memorial locations, the parade led by the American Legion marched over to the town common to honor those who have served in the United States Armed Forces. Bless them and their families for the selfish acts they perform for us in our time of need and grant us all peace, both as individuals and as the world community. But then when we ask the person who, that said this is not Hopkinton, what is Hopkinton? really couldn't say, but they would say, but this is not it. Well, I believe that this is it. This is Hopkinton. Hopkinton is more than an old building, a new building, a library, a town hall, center school, or even the Boston Marathon start. start. It's our community spirit. About 30 years or so ago, my sister who worked here said to me, John, do you want to see the real Hopkinton? I said, what, for the race? She said, no, the real Hopkinton. I'll pick you up at 9.30 on Memorial Day. She brought me here and I saw this. I saw all of you. I felt all of you. I was sucked into the feeling of community and family. This is Hopkinton. This is the spirit of the fabric of our town and our country. Like many have said before, we could all be someplace else on this long holiday weekend, sleeping late, fishing, enjoying brunch, However, it is so important and wonderful that we all continue to gather this one day to show our appreciation for those who fought and those who made the ultimate sacrifice. And that no matter how wealthy or technologically advanced our world becomes, there will always be the need for some to suffer grievously as individuals so that collectively the rest can live in safety and security. This realization makes us appropriately somber and calls for reflection on days like this. However, at the same time, we must recognize that these sacrifices are even more tragic if we fail to fulfill our end of the bargain. Most of us will only briefly pass through history and will leave little mark. Those covered today by American flags made our history. The story of our nation is genuinely written with their blood. We owe them more. Our obligation is to take this nation forward from where they left it, to remain true to the principles they fought for, and to strive to do our part to make this a country that we continue to be proud of. Each of us must do something in our own way to honor these people by making our society stronger and ever more perfect.